hi here we have if n is equal to 1 plus x where x is the product of four consecutive positive integers then which of the following is or are true okay so we have n is equal to 1 plus now x is product of four consecutive positive integers so let's say the consecutive positive integers are a a plus 1 a plus 2 and a plus 3 these are the consecutive positive integers so we have n is equal to 1 plus a into a plus 1 is a square plus a into a plus 2 into a plus 3 is a square plus 5a plus 6 now this is 1 plus now multiplying this whole thing so let's simplify this in uh, separately so a square into this whole thing is a to the power 4 plus a square into 5a is 5a cube plus 6a square plus a into this whole thing is a cube plus 5a square plus 6a so we have a to the power 4 plus 5a cube plus a cube is 6a cube plus 6a square plus 5a square is 11a square plus 6a okay so n here comes out to be a to the power 4 plus 6a cube plus 11a square plus 6a plus 1 this is n right now one way of solving this question is <coughs> you put values of a different values of a and figure out which of these three is true but then again that's not a foolproof way of doing it now to properly uh, solve this you'll have to factorize this by quadratic that's pretty difficult right except it very difficult to factorize a by quadratic but over here you still can try this is basically a palindromic equation what's a palindromic equation a palindromic polynomial is basically a polynomial where the coefficients from left to right and right to left are in the same order so from left to right the coefficients are 1 6 11 6 1 and from right to left they are all again 1 6 11 6 1 so same so in this case what you do is you combine the first and the last term second and the second last term right so we take a to the power 4 plus 1 together then we have uh, 11 a square will be written as it is and then you have uh, 6a cube plus 6a so from these two we can take 6a common so we have a square plus 1 remaining here from these two we take 6a common this is what we get plus 11a square is what we have now here if you are good with equation solving you might see that you have a 6a into a square plus 1 now can you generate an a square plus 1 over here yes you can you can write this thing as a square plus 1 whole square minus 2 a square right a square a to the power 4 plus 1 is effectively a square whole square plus 1 square so this is sort of x square plus y square now x square plus y square is x plus y whole square minus twice of x into y right so this is how we can write a to the power 4 plus 1 is a square plus 1 whole square minus 2a square plus 6a into a square plus 1 plus 11a square now minus 2a square plus 11a square becomes 9a square and we have a square plus 1 whole square over here and this thing now here 9a square is effectively 3a whole square right and this 6a into a square plus 1 can be written as twice of 3a into a square plus 1 6a can be factorized like this right so effectively now what we get is we have x square plus y square is equal to twice oh sorry x square plus y square plus twice of x into y this is what we have so this is effectively x plus y whole square written so x here is a square plus 1 and plus y y here is 3a so square of this whole thing 
So n here comes out to be a square plus 1 plus 3a. This is what we get. I'll write it again. n is equal to square of a square plus I'll write 3a first plus 1. So this is what n can be simplified to. Now let's see which of these three statements are correct. First statement, n is an odd number. Let's see if n is an odd number always or not. If a is even, then a square will be even, 3a will be even and 1 is obviously odd. So even plus even plus odd will be odd. So if a is even, n comes out to be odd. What if a is odd? If a is odd, this will be odd. 3a will also be odd and this is odd. So odd plus odd plus odd is also odd. So in any case, the value of n comes out to be odd. So a is correct. a is definitely correct. What about b? b definitely will not be correct because n is a perfect square, right? This is for any value of n, a, n will be a perfect square. So it cannot be a prime number. It will definitely be a perfect square. Hence, the correct answer here will be option A. Statement A and statement C are correct. Hence, option A is the right answer here. Difficult question to solve because of the calculations that are involved as in the simplification that you have to do. Option A is the right answer. Thank you.